the final thing would be the you would be much more focused on public transport and human power transportation that everybody will have to submit for a, a renewed license. The test will be much more uh, complicated. How prone are you to road rage, likely to let the power go to your head? You have to submit at least a week's worth of dash cam footage. You will have to ride uh, a bicycle, for example, for at least a week. And the streets of everywhere are uh, focused on public transportation and human power transportation. Uh, you know how shopping malls and like, oh, the most places would, would give you like free parking or whatever? Let's cut that. Let's do that, you would get bus tickets or subway tickets or whatever. You Possibly you could have, if you're not really suited, maybe you would have like a certain amount of hours a lot per week to drive your car. So really think it through and you would be rewarded for not using your car. For share bikes would be, in, if, uh, would be implemented, public transport would be obviously fantastic because public transport doesn't have to be a thing like a last option or something only used for poor people who can afford cars. No, no, it has to be something good, something clean, comfortable, safe. The whole point would be to get people to use their car less to use other methods to help the environment and to help themselves. And important for that also is that uh, not everybody can uh, buy a bike or uh, disabled people, you know, people in wheelchairs or who need uh, mobility aids or who just don't have the energy to, to move themselves around can comfortably use public transportation without having to depend on the, uh, you know, uh, cars or whatever. So, to recap, less cars, more human powered transport and public transportation, public transit, everybody gets healthcare and education, but you also have to uh, give back and work for your country. You have to earn the right to vote. Companies are, in, are encouraged to come and grow and invest, but they have to hold to the ethical practices of the country. And uh, we have a certain uh, uh, group of people who are elected to speak for everyone, but they are not there to get rich or anything like that. They are there to because they literally want to make a difference. That's why you should be in politics, to help people and to make the world a better place.